Okay guys, so let me show you how you can add extra custom fields to your WooCommerce product page using one single plugin that will allow you to add, for instance, text fields. You can add a number as well. You can have a radio button, so you can select either of those options, one, two, or three. You have a button option as well, so this is one option at a time, or multi-select. You can select one, two, and four, for instance. You have swatches as well. You can choose which color you want, maybe green, maybe red, maybe blue and you have swatches in multi-select as well perhaps you want it in red in stripes or maybe blue and red in checkered or and so on okay and then you have a drop list as well so you can select the option that you want maybe option three you have a date picker so let's select a date and you have a time picker as well so here it would be now for instance okay and this is the time i'm actually recording this video at you have the file upload and then you can add to cart. So that's basically, these are all the options available that you can add to your product page. And then for every option that you create, you also have condition logic. So you can create rules here if you want to display or hide a certain product, what will trigger that. You have also actions that you can create. And obviously here you can assign specific products based on their names or which category they're in. And for this, we're gonna use Yay Extra. So this is a WooCommerce Extra product options. And this is the pro version that we're going to use today. So basically there's a free version as well available on the WordPress repo if you want to try it out. But obviously it has limited features. So the cost is 59 US dollars for one single site or you can use the one-time payment and this is lifetime license then for 199 US dollars. So now let me show you how you can set this up in the back end. So once you've installed your plugin, this is basically how you can use it. Very good, so welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So once you've installed Ye WooCommerce Extra Options, you will find it here under the WooCommerce tab. So as you can see, it is right there, okay? So if you click on this, this is where you can set everything up. And this is where you will find all the different options. So you can create as many as you want, obviously. So let's create one together, okay? So we're gonna add a new option set. And now we can give it a name and a description as well. So let's say this one would be for a woman's bracelet engraving, okay? So these are the custom fields that we will add to it. So this is the page, basically, this is a regular a woman's bra bracelet. So as you can see at the moment, there are no options available. It's just a simple product. So how can you add options? Well, basically this is what we're gonna to do together now, okay? So this is it. And now we can create our new option. So we click on the options. As you can see, you have different tabs here. So first we start by adding our options. So add a new option. And by default, you will see option number one right here. And now we can configure this. So you can add as many options as you want. And if you made a mistake, you can always delete it and start afresh, okay? So first, you have to click on this and then you can set our option. So the first option, what would it be? Well, basically, this is an engraving that you need. So you need the text that will go on the bracelet. So first, we're going to replace our label here. So this would be, for instance, text to engrave, maximum 22 characters. And then you're going to say the type of field. What type of field is it? Text, number, checkbox, button and so on and so on so in our case here it will be text obviously you know now clearly because this is a text field you might want to limit this to 22 characters as well because you have only a certain amount of space on which you can engrave and add a name for instance so as you can see here at the bottom you have maximum character minimum character you can add this here so basically maximum 22 and that's basically it okay so now you can close this and move on to the next one and now we're going to add our second field okay so let's add a new field and let's say perhaps we want to know is this a gift yes or no so in this case we can create a new option so is it a gift okay question mark and in this case we have only two options yes or no okay so for this we're going to select radio button and then we go to option values and we can add our different options okay so one will be a yes and the other one will be no and then you can set either of those as default as well so by default it could be yes or by default could be no or by default none of them will be select basically the cust the visitors will have to select the one okay and then now we're going to create a new field based on this so if they select a yes if it is a gift then you need to select the type of packaging that you want so clearly this field should be required as well in mandatory so now we can close this so we have the text is it a gift yes or no and if it is a gift then which type of packaging will you select so here we have type of packaging okay and this type will be perhaps a button okay 
And this is a, not a multi-select, but only one option at a time. And then we can create our different values. So let's add this one here. So let's create the first one. So let's say the first one would be a gift box with ribbon. Okay. And then the second one could be, for instance, a romance box plus card. Okay. And now we have to create a conditional logic. So when do you want to display this? Well, it's very simple. What is all we have to do is add a new conditional logic and then set the rules basically. Okay. So do you want to display or hide this feature? Well, in this case, we want to display that field when any of those conditions are met. So what is the condition? Well, basically to the question, is it a gift? The answer should be yes. If this is yes, then it will show that field. Okay. And right here on top, you can have a quick preview as well. So if you click on this, as you can see, this is the text to engrave. So let's type some text. And then is it a gift? If you click no, nothing happens. If you click yes, as you can see, it will show our two different options. And now we can add an extra feature. So if you select, for instance, gift box with ribbon, that's fine. No additional feature. But if you select Romans box plus card, we need to know what message to add on the card. OK, so let's create our next field together now. So add new option. So this one is going to be called message to print on the card. OK, and again, this type is text as well. So let's add our conditional logics. When do you want to display this? We want to display it if the type of packaging is not gift with ribbon, but Romans box plus card. OK, and now we can click save. And that's basically it for this. Now we all set. And now if you go back to our front end and refresh our page, you will see that no options were added. And the reason why is because we need to assign those options to the product. OK, so we go back to the top here, as you can see product. So let's look for bracelet. So there it is. Now we can tick this box here and set as assigned. And as you can see now, the status has changed and we also need to activate it here right on top. Now let's save those changes and let's go back to the front end and let's refresh. And there you go. All the options are now showing. So now we can type our text here. We can say, is it a gift? Yes or no. If we select no, nothing happens. If we say yes, it will have those two different options. Now, if we select a box with ribbon, no changes either. But if we add the card, we have to type our content here, the text that will be printed on the gift card with it. Very good. And now let me show you how you can charge an extra fee if they were to select the gift box here. So an extra fiver, for instance, and if they select the card, another fiver. OK, so let's go back to our options here. And this time we're going to go to the actions. We're going to create a new action set. OK, so let's click on this and let's set this up. So when is this action going to apply if any of those conditions or all of these conditions? So in our case, it doesn't matter any of those conditions and we're going to set the condition. OK, so for instance, here, is it a gift is and the value is yes. Then if this is the case, if they want this to add as a gift, then you will charge them an extra fee. So in this case, add a fee or a discount. OK, either way, you can work this both ways. But in our case, we're going to add a fee of five dollars okay and then you can also add the name here so maybe gift box extra cost okay so this is rule number one so we can close this and now let's add another one so in this case is for the card itself so we're going to add another fiver as well to print the card okay so let's select here so add a condition if the type of packaging is and then we can select romans box plus card in this case, we're going to add a fee again of five dollars and we're going to put here card printing fees, for instance. OK, and then we can save and let's put this to the test. Now we go to the front end. Let's refresh our page. So here we have our text and that is it a gift? Yes. And now we're going to select a Romans box plus card. And this is the content of our card. And as you can see, we're an additional subtotal here of ten dollars. So these are the extra fees that were charged. Now, if we add this to cart, let's have a quick look. View cart. We have the quick overview of our order here and the breakdown of the extra cost. As you can see, this one is gift box extra cost and cart printing fees. So it's all there in our shopping cart as well, properly detailed. And then there's only one thing left to show you now. If we go back here to our options, as you can see, you have option set, customize and settings as well. So if you go to customize, you can customize all aspects of how it is displayed in the front end. So you have the font size, the font weight, 
uh, the price here as well how do you want to display do you want a font size of a specific size how many pixels and the font weight as well perhaps you want the price to be bolder maybe 600 pixels and for your swatches is the same as well as you can see you can add a border border style and for the tooltip as well you can customize this you want to display on top bottom left or right you have the same for the button and you can also have custom css if you wanted to add extra features as well and then we have our settings as well so here you can show the option set for roles so you can define which role has access to it perhaps customers shop manager only admin you can show hide the option for specific users and as you can see, you can show the subtotal and product page, the total price on product page, maybe in your mini card, you can enable and disable all these options as well. So all together, not bad at all. So there you go, guys. As you can see, this is quite a powerful tool that will help you increase your conversion rate and get more customers and all of that for just a small cost of 59 US dollars. So as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video.